Previously on Project Retro Rally. I will be driving this car in the AVD Histor Monta. We are going to be turning this into a classic rally car. And then you can see how much work there is left to do. The gearbox needs to come out. So that's a really good reading, meaning that Heinrich is a very happy boy. And now it's time to uh, start Heinrich up. Welcome back to another glorious episode of Project Retro Rally featuring Heinrich, the magnificent Mercedes-Benz 280S. Since last week, Karl Heinz has been really busy, and I mean really busy. We've got spotlights, we've got a wide body, different wheels, we've got red paint. I mean, he is looking Wrong car, Alex. What? Wrong, wrong car. Ah, so that's Heinrich over there, which must mean that this is the legendary Red Pig. So before we carry on over there, let me tell you all about this because it is awesome. The Red Pig, AKA Die Rotesau, is arguably the most badass Mercedes race car there's ever been. Featuring a 6.8 litre V8 with 420 horsepower and bags of attitude. Winning its class in the 1971 24 Hours of Spa. It looks mad, sounds incredible, and was the ultimate middle finger to its race car peers, which is why I love it so much. Anyway, while I've been away, Karl Heinz installed the new radiator and thanks to a delivery of parts was able to reseal and fit the gearbox. While we wait for ignition parts to arrive that will ensure the engine runs sweetly again, today's job is to swap out the front suspension and anti-roll bar and drop the rear axle. But before that, let's check out progress underneath. Those 1,000 layers of non-standard rust proofing have also been removed and to tell me about the process is Sven. Hello Sven. Hello Alex. Hello. Grüß dich auch. Um, wie viel Spaß hat das alles gemacht? Sehr viel Spaß hat das Auto gemacht, Alex. Na, bei einem normalen Auto brauchen wir ca. 400 Kilo Trockeneis. Bei diesem Fahrzeug, bei Heinrich, haben wir ja. 1300 Kilogramm oh, Trockeneis verwendet. Echt? Ja. We've got rust in that wheel arch and in that wheel arch, which means that we need to cut it out and replace it with some fresh metal. So this is all original um, underbody protection, which is cool. This bracing point here is, uh, is really quite badly, badly rusted. So we're going to sandblast that and then uh, have a look and hopefully get away with it that way. The sills look good themselves, but the uh, end plates here, this side, the right side, quite rusted, so that needs to be sandblasted. On the left side, it looks in tip-top condition. Right, so now is the moment of truth. Let us take this adorable uh, chrome piece off and then have a look at the uh, rust underneath. Bomber? One line. Uh, obviously, we need to fill these holes here and uh, should be good to go, and we're going to keep these bits off because these are non-standard. And look, it's just disgusting. That's horrible. Bist du ein bisschen? Danke, nein. Ich muss, ich muss nur fahren. Okay. With the chrome deleted, it's time to remove the front and rear bumpers to get Heinrich one step closer to the Red Pig's awesome aesthetic. The next step is for us to get our hands really dirty. We're going to take off the wheels. We're going to have a look at the braking system. After that is when the fun really starts because we're going to be putting new springs and dampers on from H&R. The car is going to sit lower. Heinrich is going to look like an absolute badass. Mwah! So let's crack on with that. So the rear pads have also got a clean bill of health, as have the discs. Now these needed to have a minimum depth of 9.4 millimeters, and these are on 10 millimeters. So all good again. Brakes checked, it's now time to whip out Heinrich's old suspension in preparation for a new set of H&Rs. So we're trying to take the old springs off because we're obviously replacing with H&R lowering springs. However, the spring compressor that we have um, isn't compressing the spring enough because we're bottoming out of the top here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, jack and we're going to jack the whole system off and uh, yeah, take away the pressure and then we should just be able to slide the springs out. Old springs 
springs out, let's take a look at the new suspension. And now, ladies and gentlemen, is the moment that you've all been waiting for. It is the unboxing moment. We are going to have a look at the H&R springs and dampers. Blessed are those amongst knives. Karl Heinz, I can't be trusted with knives. This is always a very exciting time when you have a project car. Unpacking. Here are the new dampers. Come to me. I could use a box cutter. But... Voila, it's in good house. So, so these are the new front springs that we're gonna be putting on Heinrich. These are going to drop the front of the car by 50 millimeters. Mercedes cars usually come out kind of like that, rear here, front here. So we're gonna level the playing field and make it look properly badass. Let's get crack a lacking. So I'm gonna unbolt these 14s here, and then we're gonna drop the car and then take the uh, damper out from the top and then jobs are good. One old damper out and in the bin. Now, like I said before, one of the coolest things about working on a car like Heinrich is that there is so much space in the engine bay. You can't do this on a modern car, I'll tell you that. With the new spring and damper unit coupled, we offer it up to Heinrich and bolt it in place. One down, three to go. Right, so the uh, front suspension is in, springs and dampers have been bolted up. The next job is to put the new anti-roll bar in. So I'm going to be helped again by... Carlos. <laughs> Alice Clark? Alice Clark. Alice Clark, good. This is uh, an H&R anti-roll bar, custom made. So this is 27 millimetres and the original is 23 millimetres. So bigger, in this case, is better. I try not to tell myself that all the time. And, oh, I have to show you something very, very cool. That's cool here is. It says car throttle on it. The guys from H&R actually put our logo on there, which is very cool. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get on with the installing. So now the front suspension is all in, looking glorious. And also the anti-roll bar, as you can probably tell, is, uh, is also in powerful, just like me. The next step is for me to go to the back of the car, join the guys because we're gonna be taking out the uh, rear axle because there's a bit of a leak. So uh, yeah, join me there. Let's go guys, let's go. Roy, up, 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 don't, don't spoil the illusion. So 
So uh, we've got a lot to do. We've got to uh, unbolt this, the prop shaft. Uh, there's a flange there, Thanks, which Carl Heinz is working on. Currently, then we need to take off this damper, this big old uh, damper here. Then we go back to the front, unbolt here, one, two, three, take this arm out. Then we need to unbolt the brake lines then the cables for the handbrake, and then finally we take out the differential. So plenty to do. are out and now the guys are putting on these awesome tires they're basically just a uh, protective covers that you put over the discs because we're dropping the whole axle out and we don't want the axle sitting on the discs because that would be bad because the discs are in very good condition <laughs> So it is the end of a very successful day here. What we've done is changed the front suspension, new anti-roll bar, the rear axle is lying in front of me looking really sad for itself. You can see what we're gonna be doing to this over on the Mercedes-Benz channel. So make sure you subscribe right here. We're also gonna be putting in the rear suspension, dropping the car and seeing how much better it looks with a lower ride height. We'll see you next time.